name is Rune Tomskov Sørensen, and I play the violin both first and second we switch. And I am Frederik Øland, and I play the violin as well. My name is Asbjørn Nørgaard, and I play the viola. And I'm uh, Frederik Schölin, I play the cello. It all started uh, in the countryside in Denmark, and um, we just met and, and played on an amateur course there. And um, then we uh, we had a teacher, um, or he actually found us, and uh, he knew us from different places, and he put us together. And he was actually in the uh, former Danish string quartet, and his dad and granddad actually also played in the Danish string quartet. So it's a generation thing. And uh, then after some years, it became more serious. We started playing more concerts. Then uh, we asked him, can we use that name? And uh, that's the story of that name. So actually, it was, it was, uh, we didn't want to take immediately the Danish String Quartet because we didn't feel that we were ready for that. So we put in the young Danish String Quartet because we were quite young when we started. But now we feel more grown up, so we changed our name to the Danish String Quartet. <laughs> I'm a country boy and these two guys are more uh, kind of Copenhagen boys and um, so we met in, in the countryside in this summer camp. Uh, it was only a week every July and, and um, personally where I grew up I, I didn't have any, uh, any orchestras around me so I would go there and finally I would have a big symphony orchestra to play and some young friends to play with and um, and then uh, we started meeting up also during the year. I would take the train to Copenhagen and, and meet my new classical music friends. And, and we would, uh, yeah, we, I mean, we just had fun and we played music together. And um, so we, we met in the countryside, but we only played quartet in, in, Cop in the Copenhagen area. Usually uh, Rune is a little bit in charge of repertoire, uh, but that's only because it's, it's, it's a big job to organize all the repertoire. Um, so it's better to have one, one guy doing that actually, and, and it's not like he's deciding everything uh, no matter what, you know, we, we always have, we can put a word in, but, but it's easier if one person has, has the big uh, Overlook. We are very fortunate as a string quartet. We have some so much great music to play. But I think what we learned is that we should only play stuff that we really like because yeah. there are a lot of string quartets that we don't like. We, I mean, uh, there are so much music and and not all of it is is so good for us. Maybe so. When we were younger, we would maybe more play what some teachers told us to play or. Or maybe I mean some things that we thought we had to play, and now we just play stuff that we really like, and it makes life much better for us. Gatehouse, the the boss of of the new generation, I guess. He uh, he's he's been uh, listening to us for, for some years actually. Like every time we played in England, maybe if the BBC recorded it, he would check us out. And he heard us in in uh, West Cork Chamber Music Festival a couple of years ago. And because we did this London competition a couple of years ago, we did a lot of stuff in England already. But then we actually knew it from before uh, because th there was a Danish trio trio and Din who was here uh, some years back. And, um, you know, that was a kind of a big thing in Denmark because Denmark is a small country and, you know, everything was, was happening in the classical music world. So, so everybody knew that, that they were here and kind of had a breakthrough in, in, in England and, and Great Britain. So, so of course, it's, it's, it's a very nice thing for us now to, uh, to, take, to take that up and, and represent Denmark and Norway in, here in, uh, in this country. A 
personally, I, I love touring in the UK. I think it's amazing. I love the countryside and I love the nature. And I, it's really nice to go all these small places at the small venues, at the festivals and experience the people there. I, so personally, I just, I'm just looking forward to traveling more in the UK. Yeah, um, have some more Guinness and exactly some good shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, there was. The, we did a, a tour in England uh, after we we did the London competition, and there was a like a Danish music magazine that did an interview uh, over the phone about the tour, the touring life as a classical example. And I remember the the the, the title of the article eventually became something like "England is our new home," because all of us they called all of us on the phones, and all of us were like, "Ah, oh, yeah, they have beer and they have it so nice," and we were like, <laughs> we really felt like we were in home here, and I think we still feel this way so it's just nice to get more stuff to do here but i think one of the strengths of of the, this quartet and i believe a lot of quartets but this one is in particular is that as you say we're built on a very strong friendship because it it grew out of a friendship basically we weren't meant to play quartet we just played quartet for fun and um, and then the second thing is that we share the same passion for the quartet. We all really want to do this, and and our the dream is to make a living of this and just live as a quartet player and as a uh, traveling quartet. <laughs> that would be amazing. So we share these two things, and I think that makes a very strong foundation for us. Maybe we are wrong. I, maybe maybe we're really stupid. But still, it, it it's just it wouldn't make much sense to travel that much and spend so much time away from your family and everything if you weren't good friends. Like then, of course, the music is nice, nice and everything. But then, personally, I would let someone else play it if if I couldn't stay with friends while I did, while I played it. And actually, this being friends, it also means that we don't talk all the time because when you're very good friends. You, you don't have to perform socially, you can just be yourself completely, and that helps a lot. To make a living, to be able to sustain some kind of life form out of a quartet would be nice. <laughs> And, um, and, and, and have a nice life doing it. I think it could be amazing and uh, I, I can't wait to see what happens and just spend time with these guys and also, you know, being able to live off of it would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we're not a, a benchmark type of course that we just try to enjoy every step somehow. <laughs> <laughs> This turns out to be a really stupid interview. <laughs> <laughs>